From the first cry, a baby monkey clings to its mother, finds milk, and within weeks dares to follow her through the trees. Over the next few minutes, we'll follow that journey through four representative species. Most monkeys are pregnant for about four to six months, with some nearing seven. Single infants are the norm. Rooting and grasping reflexes let infants nurse within the first hour and hold tight for safe travel. Motor milestones usually unfold in sequence. Zero to two weeks belly clinging, two to four weeks back riding, four to eight weeks short climbs, and two to three months short leaps. Weaning commonly falls around six to 12 months. From this shared frame, each species adds its own memorable twists. In Asian macaques, gestation is about five and a half to six months. Newborns weigh roughly 400 to 600 grams. A key difference is weaning. Macaques often wean later, around 10 to 14 months. They form tight social troops, groom extensively, and often travel in file. If macaques balance ground and trees, the next group specializes in leaves. In langurs, pregnancy can stretch from five and a half to seven months. Some species show bright infant coats that darken later. Because of a leaf-heavy diet, many groups wean later than average, often greater than or equal to 12 months. You can recognize them by their deliberate leaf chewing, their calm postures, and their shore grip climbing on slender branches. Leaving Asia, we head to the Americas to meet the quickest learners in class. In capuchins, gestation is five to six months. Infants weigh about 200 to 300 grams. Capuchins are known for learning through play and imitation, and many groups sample solids relatively early while still riding with mom. You'll spot them by the way they manipulate objects with precision, probe everything with curiosity, and stay engaged with the group. Back in Africa, there's a plot twist you won't forget. Black and white colobus carry for about 5.5 to 6 months, yet newborns are pure white, then shift to black and white within the first months. As leaf eaters, many groups wean later around approximately 12 months, and they practice strong alimothering. Multiple ants share infant carrying. These differences highlight the depth of the mother-infant bond. In monkeys, infants depend on mothers through a long childhood. Mothers don't just carry and nurse, but also teach climbing, food choice, and proper social behavior. With few offspring and long care, moments of holding, grooming, and calling weave a durable bond. Beyond the one-year mark, the four species step into independence at different paces. For independence, all four climb and jump better, eat more solids, and range farther. Macaques and capuchins often become bolder earlier, while langurs and colobus remain more deliberate. For dispersal, the common pattern is males leaving at puberty and females staying, typical for macaques, langurs, and colobus. In capuchins, trends often align similarly. Looking further, a natural question is, how many offspring does a monkey mother raise in a lifetime? With single births and interbirth intervals of 12 to 24 months, a wild mother typically raises about three to eight offspring over her life. Under safer, well-provisioned conditions, this can rise to six to 12 or more, depending on species and infant survival. From the first cling to the first leap, a monkey's childhood is a forest miracle, and we can protect it by respecting their natural home. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and tell us which monkey species you'd like to explore next.